What's up, guys? What's up, guys? You guys have any questions or anything you guys don't want to chat just uh let me know it's the first time i'm live streaming like this off of an ipad so i actually have my ipad running i also have youtube on my phone over here so that i can hear if the audio is coming through so like i said if you guys have any questions or anything you guys want to chat we know. I'm rather new at uh, 3D sculpture, but I'd like to think that I'm pretty decent. Like, this is only like my fourth sculpture or something like that. And I would like to think that it's pretty okay. Thanks, Jeremy. So, um, I'm not planning on mass producing any of the cowl sculptures that I do, um, because there's actually some stuff going on right now with, uh, the independent sellers actually getting cease and desist from Warner Brothers. And, uh, I don't ever want to become one of those people that, uh, is being threatened to either stop what I'm doing or you know, or else pretty much. So, um, for right now, I'm just enjoying doing the sculptures and I might, you know, 3D print them in like half scale or something for my own personal display or um, also do some, uh, like just some sales of just the files because I don't want to be on the hook for mass producing anything from an IP that I don't own, which is Batman. But, uh, you know, I am having a lot of fun learning 3D sculpture, and I'd like to think, like I said, that I'm decent. I'm not a pro, like I'm not on Hernandez or like, you know, Tigerstone effects level of awesome, but I would like to think that I'm okay. This sculpture was done originally. Um, I was happy with it, but uh, a fan of the channel actually reached out to me with some high quality photos of the screen used one 
and uh, told me some areas that I could work on. So I'm actually just touching up areas and getting the shapes a little bit more um, accurate to the actual thing. So as you can see here, there's this little lump. There's this little lump right here that I got to work on. Trying to get it a little bit more straight. Actually, that looks horrible. Let's get rid of that. Can you guys uh, hear me okay, by the way? Like I said, I'm using the audio from my phone. Uh, not the audio from my phone, sorry. I'm watching the stream on my phone to see if, uh, if I was actually live or not. Because, again, this is the first time I've ever done this, so. I know the 89 has this little lump right here. But it's also not that pronounced. So we're going to smooth it back down. Try and blend it in a little bit. Smooth this. There we go. I'm liking that angle. Smooth the nose a little bit.
pretty happy with that. Yeah, it's mostly about getting all these angles right, because uh, on the 89, you have like this kind of zigzag, uh, zigzag pattern where like the eye comes up. I can't exactly like show you guys without messing up the sculpture. But um, you have kind of like this, I guess we can go back, you know. We kind of have this zigzag pattern like right here and then it's supposed to come back and then back down and then over here but uh, getting that angle correct and then also where this angle meets the top of the ear getting that correct as well is a challenge because the minute that you mess it up um, it no longer looks like the 89 it looks like a uh, like a replica, you know. I want it to look as close to the real thing as possible. So I'm really taking my time. I'm also really struggling with the ears because almost any time I touch the ears, you can see they start to shrink. So that's going to be a challenge. But uh, how's everyone doing? How's everybody holding up during these stay in your house and do nothing <laughs> times, you know? I'm uh, I'm getting a little bored. It's just work home, work home, work home. It's getting kind of ridiculous. These sections right here, I don't think I'm ever going to get perfect. Because um, this was sculpted on a bust. There's a bunch of different ways that you can actually use this program. Um, I used the bust function so that the head was already kind of there. Um, and then you can't really get rid of the eyes or the nostrils of the bust itself. So as you guys can see, like this little hole right here, this is where the mouth used to be. And it won't go away, so you can't really avoid that. And also these little pointy sections right here are where the nostrils used to be. And you can't really avoid them either. One thing you can do though, which looks kind of funny, is you can put the eyes back in, and he looks really ridiculous. So, I like to just turn the eyes off. Um, every now and then I'll put the eyes back in just so I can check symmetry. Because uh, I do have it turned on. The symmetry is turned on. Um, but sometimes, like as you can see down here, this section, um, sometimes the symmetry will, like, I don't know, like, it won't register. So you have, like, some sections that mess up. But you can actually fix that by masking it off. So, like, if I click on the mask... You can mask the section that you want to work on. So let's say that I want to just add the scallops, okay? You can actually mask this section off. Oops. You can actually mask it off. Oops. So you can mask all of this off, and anything that's masked won't actually be touched. And then, you can go in, and anything that, again, is masked, let's put, turn the strength all the way up, won't really be touched. So as you can see here, it'll go, it'll go right up to the line but it won't go past the line. So that's kind of how you can get your symmetry back is by masking things. 
And then you just go to, I believe, the mask, and you clear it. And then it takes the mask off, and you have most of your symmetry back. It won't be perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. So now I'm just going to pull this section back down to where I like it. There we go. And then Flatten it back down. The other thing too is that uh, I'm a little bit too focused on symmetry and uh, the original cowl was hand sculpted, so it's not going to be 100% symmetrical. And uh, you're probably better off if you don't try and go for like super um, symmetry. Because once you're too focused on the symmetry, um, you just kind of lose sight of what you're actually trying to do, which is just replicate something that already exists. Um, I also don't really know how I'm going to apply texture to this because as most people know, um, there's texture. Um, let's use the mask section to show you guys that. There's texture on the 89. Pretty much all down here right like this whole section is all textured and then it kind of crawls up the back of the neck in a way kind of like this and then it's just kind of there we go so all the black section is supposed to be kind of textured that blends with the cape and then the top section was a lot smoother so in theory when this model is done this whole bottom section will be textured and the top section will be kind of left alone um, I haven't really found a way of doing that yet I'm still new at this but eventually I will figure it out and that texture will be there. Right now I'm just kind of focusing on getting all the shapes right. All the angles, like these angles here. Just trying to get them right. You know what I mean? But uh, right now, without the texture and without the emblem and everything, it's kind of looking like a, um, it's kind of looking like a hybrid 89 and um, returns. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to grab this neckline and move it in a bit. here just to give it a little bit more definition kind of 
comes to about here. And this is kind of a straight line. Like it's supposed to be kind of straight. So let's flatten this a little bit. Oops, I have my brush strength on way too high. Okay, so let's flatten this just a little bit. Yeah, I like that a little bit more. And then, kind of brush strength down. And we'll just smooth this out. Blend it in. There we go. Now it's a little bit more defined. A little bit goes a long way when you're doing these 3D sculptures. I find that if you go a little too harsh, um, it looks kind of ridiculous. And also, like, the cool thing about the iPad, like, by the way, big shout out to my girlfriend. She got me an iPad for Valentine's Day, which is why I'm even able to do this. Oh, by the way, like, this uh, program is called Forger 3D. Anybody that wants to try it. You can download it for the iPad. It's a 3D sculpting um, thing, software. And uh, when you're done, you can actually like save it as a, you can export it as a turnaround, as a printable file. So like anything you create, you can actually print on a 3D printer, which is really, really cool. <clears throat> but yeah. She got me this for Valentine's Day. So, big shout out to her. She is amazing. Am I still on the smooth? Yes, I am. We're going to smooth this line out. Kind of smooth these angles. Because the one thing about the 89 is like you can kind of see the jawline come in a little bit. Uh, over this trap section. It's kind of like a... There we go. But yeah, a little bit goes a long way when you're doing these 3D sculptures. Because, uh... Like I said, if you go too harsh, you can kind of ruin it. But if you just do little bits of time, you kind of work your way up to really liking your sculpture. Like, I'm liking the shape. Like, I, I really am liking the shape of this. Like, I got the shape pretty... Pretty spot on. Um, some of these muscles aren't supposed to be here. So we'll just smooth those out. I can see the profile shape of the nose could use some work. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely. Um, I do use quite a bit of reference material when I'm doing these. I'm just not really looking at them right now because I'm looking at my phone and my iPad at the same time so that uh, I can reply to you guys because uh, for some reason the live chat wasn't showing up on the iPad itself so I'm having to view the chat from my phone and uh, I'm doing the sculpture on the iPad but yes, no, definitely I do know that the nose um, where's the nose? The nose is supposed to come in a bit more, you know, that looks horrible, <laughs> but you know what I mean, like the nose is supposed to kind of come in a little bit more, and um, also, like the, the length of it is a little bit too long, so probably have to shave that down a bit. <clears throat> But yeah, it'd be really nice to offer these as like, like offer these privately because I don't want to go public about this stuff because I don't want to get shut down like all the other makers are being shut down right now. Um, I just don't want to chance that. Um, but it would be nice to sell these privately as like small little displays, like little resin displays, um, the DC collectibles ones. Um, but yeah, it'd be, <clears throat> I 
But uh, those of you who follow me and know me, you guys always know that, always knew that the 89 has always been my favorite, so I really wanted to, whoops, I'm on the wrong setting here. I wanted to smooth the setting. Where is it? Smooth, right there. Um, I really wanted to do an 89 sculpt, so it's what we're doing right now. Flatten. The section's coming out a bit. I don't know why. Let's flatten it, kind of. <clears throat> Turn on my, uh, watching it off my phone. It keeps freezing and stuff, so let me know if it looks, if it's good for you guys or if it's just as poor for you guys as it is for me right now. Jeremy, if uh, you're still watching, yeah, if you could uh, answer me that real quick, just like, how is the connection? Like, does it keep cutting out? Is it really hard to hear? Is it blurry? What's going on? It's my first time doing this, so again, I don't know what the, um, what the quality is like on your guys' end. Sucks, keeps pausing. Okay. Alright, well... I really apologize about that. My Wi-Fi in my building's not very good. But, um... Eventually I'm gonna get my own Wi-Fi. Right now I just use the building Wi-Fi, because it's really cheap. It's only like $30 a month. But I am planning on getting my own eventually <clears throat> about to say get your own lol yeah I am planning on doing that um, once my current roommates move out and uh, my girlfriend moves in we're gonna get our own Wi-Fi in about a month one month, and then I will be back to YouTube, guys. I'm taking kind of a hiatus. But uh, I'll have a brand new collection room to show off to you guys. I'm actually going to be turning my bedroom into the collection room. And we're going to be moving over to the other bedroom as the bedroom. So I'll have a proper collection room. I'll be able to do YouTube again. It'll be really nice. Yeah, exactly, exactly. See, Jeremy gets it. Alright, so right now what I want to do is I want to work on the ears, but I don't want to touch anything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask, the mask the ears off. So we're going to mask this whole section because we don't want it touched. Okay. So we're going to mask this section off. I'm just going to mask the whole thing so that I can go so that I can go crazy on the ears and not worry about accidentally damaging a different part of the sculpture. Cause that can happen if you don't, if you miss a part with the mask and you accidentally like go off track, it will actually uh, start sculpting in other areas that it touches by mistake. So, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to mask off. Could use some work. Yep, definitely. We're going to work on the ears right now. 
So we're going to flatten that out, actually. Actually, no, we're, I, I lied about that. We're actually going to grab the whole ear and move it in. not supposed to come out like that it's supposed to kind of go straight up and now we're gonna flatten this part of the head down okay and then smooth that a bit just to bring it back down Turn off the mask. And then we will smooth this out. Because I noticed it was a little bumpy. There we go. Smooth this out a little bit more. Okay. Let's brush size down a little bit. Trying to smooth this out to go with the contour of the head so that it looks correct because the horns aren't supposed to really look like this, you know? You're not supposed to have this, um, this shape here. Like, it's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be kind of flat. Smooth this out to kind of go back to the ear. Because I like this. Like, I like this shape here. Because it's fairly accurate. But it needs to be sharper. Like, it needs to be a lot sharper. So let's actually flatten this. Let's see what happens. Let's flatten this along the head shape. Flat. Gonna brush. Oops. Brush strength up a bit. Let's flatten this out along the side of the head. So 
soon as I get close to these ears, you guys will see what I mean. That the uh, symmetry keeps messing up. Like, you can see the ears are two different sizes. I don't know why, because I have it turned on, like the symmetry turned on. But for some reason, it will just do this. So what you can actually do again is you can, like, mask... You can mask one section, actually, back. You can turn off the symmetry. And then you can mask one ear. So, let's try to size on. You can actually mask this. All right. So you can mask the ear. I guess the masking doesn't really matter now that we have the symmetry turned off. And then you can grab the pull, and you can actually pull the ear up so that it's approximately the same. And then turn the symmetry back on. And turn off your mask. So now they're approximately the same size again. That is the one feature I do like about this, is that, like, whatever you do to one side, you can pretty much do to the other. Too much bulk at the base of the ear. Yeah, I'm aware, man. It's got to go straight up to uh, really fill out the... Um, the uh, the profile correctly like this is supposed to be really straight oops like I'm just gonna use this to show you okay so like this is supposed to be let's just turn this on all the way brush strength this is supposed to be really straight okay it's supposed to be very straight down to the like the profile of the cowl is supposed to be very, you know, straight. So I can't really get ready, get rid of any of the bulk on this side. But what I'm wanting to do is get rid of most of this bulk here. Which is what I'm trying to do with the tools. Turn this up a little bit more. I'm trying to get rid of some of this. It's really hard when it's on the inside of the sculpture, though. I'm trying to get rid of some of this. For some reason, it just doesn't seem to want to. So, I wonder... What if I pinch that section? Can I pinch that section? I guess nothing really happens. I can I can still move it in though. Oops. I can still move it in though. The only thing that sucks is you have to be like really really careful not to touch the rest of the sculpture. So let's see if that did anything. Oh, there we go. Looks a little bit better. Still got a little bit more in here. All of this can be adjusted by smoothing and stuff. So let's Pull this back in. Pull it. Oops. Want to 
There we go. And all of this can still be fixed. I just gotta make sure that um, this is still too much. Da, da. Okay, let's try smoothing that now and see what happens. So, smooth this. Smooth this. Far better now the ears don't look like goggles placed on the head. <laughs> yeah. Now I'll smooth this. I got lost my angle. Yeah, I gotta correct this. But I could do that afterwards. Let's just try and get this down. That angle goes to the back of the head. Oops. I lost some length again. Yep. Yeah, I keep losing length in the ears, so I don't know why. It's just like in certain places, the symmetry just won't work. Like the horns on the cowl, I keep having to do them individually. You know, I have to keep pulling them back into place and stuff. I think it's kind of ridiculous. I'm liking the look of this ear over here, but um, I do have to fix this angle. So let's do that real quick. Let's just fucking make the brush bigger. I'm gonna fix the angle of it. There we go. Okay. And smooth this section. mess that up too yeah so one thing I, like that is kind of faulty about this program is that uh, symmetry keeps getting lost and it bothers me because they look good but there's still like these two little humps in here so that's a pain. Smooth this a little bit. Kind of getting that bat horn look. What I was going for because it's flat on the inside, which we've done, and then it's got a little bit of another angle here that kind of wraps around, and this is smooth as well. I'm liking it, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. I think I'm going to add some creases here. Just so this kind of goes. It's kind of. Oops. 
Okay. Let's zoom in. Okay, so let's zoom in here. Let's kind of add some crease. Not much, but a little bit of a crease here. Smooth it out. Just to give it a little bit more definition. Okay, I'm liking the ears a lot more. Still not entirely um, symmetrical though, but I'll fix that later. As you can see they keep shrinking. This is also supposed to be very, um, oops, um, it's also supposed to be very, like, straight, like all of this section. So that you can see the uh, the divot right there, but this is supposed to be very kind of even. Bit of a strong man chest there. That was a um, sculptural thing I did. I was putting this angle on the chest. Um, the screen used one doesn't really have that. It's kind of flat, but I liked it. Um, because then you're going to have kind of a strongman chest if this were to be worn, but uh, I'm not really planning on making wearable copies. If I do have one printed, it'll just be for me because I don't, again, I just, I don't want to, I really don't want to upset Warner Brothers, you know what I mean? I don't work for... Warner Brothers, I didn't create Batman, so I don't want to profit off of their IP. Let's just bring these in a little bit more. There we go. And then we'll flatten this. It's nice and flush. Flatten that. Smooth this out a little bit. I'm liking it, guys. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Also, this angle right here was really, really hard to do. Um, I'm just going to use the clay function to show you guys. 
like this angle was really, really hard to get because it looks a certain way from this angle. It looks a certain way from this angle. It looks a certain way from this angle. Whoops. And it also needs to taper out. Like it needs to kind of do this. So it was really difficult to get that. So I'm pretty impressed with, uh, with that. I'm not really impressed with this part here though. Like this part here should be kind of, it should be pretty strong, whoops, pretty strong here that meets the side of the face. Um, but I don't want to go too harsh with it because I'm just scared that I'm going to ruin the sculpture. And you can only like go back so many times. Like you can mess up the whole sculpture and you can go back only a certain amount of times. So I really don't want to waste time, you know what I mean? Like you can only go back like a total of 10 times before your sculpture is, um, like it just won't recognize it anymore. Like that's just how your sculpture will stay. But I am liking this. Jeremy is right though. The nose does need to come in a little bit. It needs to be straight. Like this part here can come in. probably taper out a little bit. Might just be us, bro. But I'm fine with that. I haven't been on YouTube for a while, so... People have probably forgotten about me. <laughs> and again, I'm totally fine with that. I've been too busy for YouTube lately, so. It does come in a little, like it does come out a little too far. So I wonder. Can I bring it in? Without losing the, uh. Without losing the. Wanted to make sure that uh, by bringing it in, I wasn't gonna like lose the the uh, the shape. These sections here are kind of inevitable, like I can't really get rid of them. I mentioned it earlier because of the uh, nostril section of the uh, the bust thing that I'm using. Like this is a bust function. Um, I can't really get rid of those nostril sections. Um, but when this thing is printed, if it ever is, these are easily sanded off. So I can just sand it. I'm happy with the shape though. I'm really happy with the shape. I think this needs to be a little bit straighter though. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. 
Will it be one to one? Um, I can print it one to one, but I'm not really planning on it. I don't really want to run into any problems, like I said earlier, with Warner Brothers coming after me, because I don't really, I don't work for Warner Brothers, obviously, and Batman's not my IP to profit off of. So, um, I might privately sell like half scale ones. And uh, I might print up a full-scale one for myself for display. It's just like, I made this and it's kind of cool, you know what I mean? But I really don't want to uh, mass-produce these and uh, draw the attention. What happened to my physical sculpt? Oh, I gave up on that thing a long time ago, man. A long time ago. But I am really happy with the um, the overall look of this. The other thing that I haven't figured out yet is this stamp function. Like I was going to use this stamp function on this. Um, so you click on the stamp. Uh, I think actually this one, and they have different stamp functions, and you can add. Oops. And you can add like texture. Oops. Let's try this. You can add texture to your pieces, but like it does it so harshly that it's almost like not worth it. You know what I mean? Even if I turn this down. It's still way too harsh to add the uh, the scallop texture like this, because as you can see, it's just really it's just it's just way too harsh. I wish it like I wish it wasn't though. Like I wish that I could add the texture that way, but it's not looking like I can. So, I don't know. I don't know, pretty happy with it. Learning, um, learning how to sculpt like this is actually pretty fun. Also, the cool thing about like this crease thing, she can pretty much add that neck thing almost instantly without really having to try. And then you just smooth it out. Where's the smooth? There it is. I keep losing it. Put brush size on and just smooth it. And then boom, you have your, your neck muscle. Oh, shit. I'm not really happy with that. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, let's try that again. Crease. And then the 
smooth. But, um, yeah, like, I'm just, I'm really having fun, um, like, learning how to sculpt digitally. I like it. I like it a lot. But I think I'm going to leave it there. For, uh, today so uh, thank you to like the few people that watched Jeremy hope you have a great night man um, I'm gonna end the stream probably listen to some music and do my laundry or something but um, yeah I'm pretty happy with it I've got this one going save that um, I've also got this white dragon thing going for a friend. This is for that, uh, for that, um, upcoming Bat in the Sun thing. As you can see, early, early, early sculpt. I'm just roughing stuff in right now. So I'm doing that for a friend. Um, I'm working on 89 Gauntlet. That one's early as well. Very, very early. Uh, I did a Dark Knight Returns. This one's actually finished. This is my own design for the Dark Knight Returns. This one's already finished. It's already got like a molding trim. If anyone ever wanted to mold this. My own design. I really like this one. This is actually my first... Um, this is actually my first 3D sculpture ever. So, I'm pretty impressed with it. I like it. I like it a lot. So, that was the first one. And then... Uh, just like, skip save. Uh, this is one that I'm working on right now, which is Hush. This one's still early. Nowhere near completion, but... Uh, that one will come out soon, too, based on the artwork of Jim Lee, obviously. Um, the, the front looks a little wonky right now, but I've got the profile of Hush pretty well, like this section here. But, uh, let me see if I can show you. Like this section, like this profile, I've got pretty well. But uh, the front still needs a lot of work. You can see what this one looks like without the eyes as well. You can remove the eyes. Early, early, early sculpt. But the one I'm really working on trying to get finished. Skip save. The one I'm really working on trying to get finished is the, uh, the 89. So yeah. And as you can see, the, these are all the uh, the little function things up here. You got a body, a bust, a spear, a cube, and a plane. I use the bust for most of the cowls. Um, the spear is the one that I'm using for the white dragon ranger helmet thing for a friend. Um, I'm also using the spear for the 89 gauntlet. And then, yeah, the bust is what I've done all the cowls in. So um, I did the Dark Knight Returns one, was my first sculpt. Um, 89 is actually my second sculpt. It's just, uh, it's just not finished yet. Hush is a work in progress. 
and uh, the rest is all a work in progress. But um, yeah, and uh, this app, if anyone wants to download it, is um, it's this one right here, Forger 3D, and I believe it's like thirteen dollars for your, for your iPad, but it's super cool. And you can import already existing files. You can export files that you've created to be 3D printed and stuff. But yeah. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. And um, until next time, peace out. Be good people. Now, I'm going to take a few seconds to end this stream. Because again, I've never done this before, so bear with me. Let's see here. Can I end the broadcast up here? So if I stop...